Hey everybody, Kai here back for another daily shave for West Coast Shaving. So, gear for today, gonna be going with my turn and shave brush right here. This has an Elite Razor 26 millimeter white Manchurian fan in here, or as I like to say, Fanchurian. Going with my Osiris Blade Works 8 8 This is a near wedge Spanish point with uh, Hawaiian koa wood scales. And so for today, gonna be going with Holy cow, call, <laughs> Italian holiday. So a little bit of a debate on uh, how to actually say the name. I've seen it both ways actually. So however you want to say it, cow, call, who knows. But Italian holiday, oh, very nice scent. Oh. Off the top of my head, I know there's notes of leather, uh, there's some tobacco and uh, I remember there's raspberry because that was kind of a standout in there. Um, and there's some herbiness too. Uh, this scent kind of smells similar to uh, a Tom Ford cologne. I believe it's called Tuscan Leather. And uh, it also smells very similar to Razor Rock's um, Tuscan, I believe it's Tuscan Oud. That's the scent from Razor Rock. So, uh, if you're familiar with either of those scents, that's what this kind of smells like. It's got like a nice leathery note, not really deep, not really strong, but just a nice um, kind of a softer leather note. The raspberry just t lends a little bit of sweetness to the scent with the tobacco and the herbs kind of giving it a um, kind of a, a nice like rounder scent so that the leather isn't so you know punchy um, oh, yeah it's a very nice scent so as you can see on the cover this is holy cause buffalo base so there's the addition of the water buffalo and the whey um, this base is incredible i'm just gonna get loading right here very very good uh, definitely one of the best post shaves I've ever experienced there's one part of holy call and I mean it's excellent stuff but one thing that really shines uh, it's definitely their post shave probably 11 out of 10 on the post shave it's truly that good Shri does a great job of adding nice amounts of skin food in here so that you just have a very luxurious soft feeling left on your face when you're done so that is the load i'm gonna go with i'm gonna my face wet right here Just get some of this excess lather off the top and apply it. I always like using the excess lather that way you know you're not wasting the good the good stuff left over on the top for one and it also helps kind of make a little bit of a pre-shave layer I think working it in with your hands is just a good way to kind of make sure you work the soap well into your beard, you know? So, I'm gonna go with that. Rinse my hand off. And I'll get going with the brush. So this soap, like with all of the Holy Claw line, uh, including the older donkey melt bakes. This one can take water as well, so don't be afraid to add it. So I'll kind of give you an idea of how much water I'm adding real quick to this. So here is my 
cup that I have my brush in so you can see how much water is in there. It's filled almost to the brim. So I take the brush and then I dip it in there pretty good. Um, I don't know if you can see the sheen left over from how much water I'm adding, but I'm definitely trying to add a bit of water with every dunk because this stuff can take it. I will say that this, uh, one of the improvements from donkey milk to this base is that this base is slightly easier to dial in, but the water band is the same. So if you're someone who likes a slightly drier lather, you know, more cushion, you want that density, it's easier for you to achieve that. But if you are someone who likes a wetter, slicker lather like I do, then you don't have to be afraid of uh, over hydrating and breaking the soap because this stuff will just take water. I'm just going to work it a little bit more. So holy cow is another one of those soaps that uh, features a lower structure lather that's become very popular in the soap world as of late. So you can see a nice sheen is already developing. And I'm just gonna give it one more dip. And that's looking good to me. So, set the brush down, clean up a little bit. I always like to make sure I clean off my sideburns so that I can see them well. That way I make sure I don't accidentally shave one off. So I always just like to kind of straighten out my sideburns, see where they are. Left side looks like I could just use a little bit of a trim, so. Right about there, that looks pretty good. Excellent. Yeah, this is nice, slick stuff. One of the ways I can always tell um, if I've hydrated a soap to my liking is when I rinse my blade away, 
Uh, there's no soap residue left over. So I notice when I have a slightly dry lather, at least for me, I have some um, some thicker soap that gets left over when I rinse my blade. And that's just an indication to me that uh, I could have hydrated my lather a little bit more. So maybe on my, my next uh, my next lather, I'll dip my brush in the water, add a little bit. Ah. So, I'm just gonna rinse my face off. And if you notice, I never really like to splash water on my face or really actually rinse it. Um, I just use the water in my hand and whatever soap is left over on my face I actually just kind of try to work it back in especially with the soaps like this that have really good skin ingredients I feel that working it back into the skin just kind of lends to that more luxurious face feel so just painting on right here That looks really good. As always, making sure my hands are nice and dry. Don't want to grab your straight razor with wet hands because uh, A, you don't want to have slippery hands. You don't want the razor to, you know, slip as you're using it. And, uh, and B, you don't want to get water into the hinge right there because it's very hard to get dry again. Uh, you'll develop rust right there, just bad stuff. So. Please excuse the, uh, the home telephone ringing. That's oh, feeling really nice. Gotta dry off right here a little bit more. Had a blemish on my cheek. That is no longer there. <laughs> so. Ah, oh, very nice. Yeah, I really really love the slickness of this soap. Very
That soap is nice, dense, and creamy. Really love the way this stuff lathers up. And then uh, I'm gonna give my blade 10 laps on leather before I do my last pass. So I have my shop right here. Just gonna do 10 laps. I like doing that. I feel that uh, really helps smoothen out the edge for your last pass. So if you haven't tried it, Give it a try, and here we go. Yeah, it's feeling really good. Yeah, when I do my final touch-up pass, uh, I've been kind of going between doing directly against the grain on my chin and uh, kind of just going cross grain. Kind of settled on just going cross grain on it. Um, when I tend to go directly against the grain, my chin kind of bunches up. And then um, when the razor releases, it kind of goes fast towards my lower lip. And I like having my lower lip on my face, so I prefer to keep that there rather than trying to chase BBS, you know? So, just do what works for you. Yeah, that is. Excellent, my face is feeling very good. This is definitely one of those soaps that you could forgo poke shave products with if you wanted to. Really, really enjoy using the buffalo base. Then another thing I've been doing to kind of help me out with my, um, with the fool's pass, is when I do my cheeks, I try to use the heel of the blade and get as much of my mustache as possible. Um, there have been a few times that I've done the fool's pass where I've had to come pretty low and then I end up catching the, um, the top of my upper lip. 
So just to help kind of mitigate that, I've done, I've been using the heel, trying to get about halfway up, kind of to this uh, outer part of my nostril. And that way when I do the fool's pass, it's just kind of this upper area right here, which makes it very easy. So um, yeah, if you're someone who likes to do the fool's pass or um, maybe you've been having a little bit of trouble, try and give that a try. Um, it's helped me out a ton, at least feeling more confident that I'm not gonna catch my lip. But yes, whew, very nice. It it really feels like I've put a very nice moisturizer onto my face right now. Um, the poche feel of Holy Cow is really unparalleled. Um, like I was saying, one of the best, if not the best post shave that I felt. Um, the only one that I could really think of that compares is Barrister Man Vespers and um, Ariana and Evan's new base. So, yeah, this is truly a elite post shave feel, but uh, I'm gonna put on aftershave anyway. just dried off my face still feels very moisturized very nice zero irritation no redness anywhere no bumps so very good finish off I'll be going with the matching splash and uh, I really like the splash because it has a nice amount of menthol in here Not so much that'll make you uncomfortable or anything or anything like that, but just enough to help your face, make it feel nice and cool. Yeah, really enjoyed that. Pretty much zero burn from the aftershave. Just a great shave all around. So that is my shave for today. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya!